After nine days at sea, the first boat in a naval convoy carrying more than 600 people rescued from the Mediterranean arrives in the Spanish port of Valencia. I'm happy that their journey is over, a journey that was too long. I'm worried about the situation in the Mediterranean and the closing of European ports. The migrants and refugees had been taken on board by the charity ship Aquarius. Among them were seven pregnant women and 120 children and teenagers, many of them unaccompanied. Rescuers first tried to take the migrants to Italy, but the government refused to give them docking permission. Then Malta did the same. Italy agreed to transfer some of the migrants to two of their vessels. These, along with the Aquarius, had nowhere to go until Spain came to the rescue. The French have also agreed to take in some of the rescued migrants. Aid groups say the international community needs to be more compassionate to the plight of these displaced people. Libya, as we all know, is a lawless country. It is in political chaos. Local armed militias control certain areas, and that's why it's political chaos. I say that many people don't plan to reach Europe, but simply to escape from Libya. It isn't a territorial issue, it's a survival issue. Since the rescue of the first group of more than 600 people a week ago, the Spanish Coast Guard has rescued another 900 who are trying to make the sea crossing from North Africa. Spain's new socialist government has promised to provide the rescued migrants with health care and to consider each asylum application. Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez says his government wants to fulfill its human rights obligations to avoid a catastrophe at sea. Mari Beveridge, TRT World.